Welcome to this SQL tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to work with SQL Server. To start with, what is SQL? SQL stands for Structured Query Language. It is a language of the database. It lets you access and manipulate the database. It became a standard of the American National Standard Institute, ANSI, in 1986, and of the International Organization for Standardization, ISO, in 1987. You might ask, what can we do with SQL? We can execute queries against a database. We can retrieve data from a database. We can insert records in a database. We can update records in a database. We can delete records from a database. We can create new databases. We can create new tables in a database. We can create stored procedures in a database. We can create views in a database and we can set permissions on tables, procedures, and views. SQL is also a standard, but although it's a standard, SQL is an ANSI ISO standard. There are different versions of the SQL language. However, to be compliant with the ANSI standard, they all support at least the major commands. Now, what are these commands? They are commands like select command, update command, delete command, insert command, and where close command. In a similar manner. Now, let's talk about RDBMS. RDBMS stands for Relational Database Management System. It's a basis for SQL and for all modern database systems, such as Microsoft SQL Server, IBM DB2, Oracle, MySQL, and Microsoft Access. The data in RDBMS is stored in database objects called tables. A table is a collection of related data entries and it consists of columns and rows. Let me show you an example of a table. With me, I have a customer table. Now, we are saying a table consists of columns and rows. So, a column is a vertical entity in a table that contains all information associated with a specific field in a table. Sometimes a column is called a field. So, this customer table consists of customer ID, customer name, contact name, address, city, postal code, and country. These are columns or fields. And we are saying they are vertical entity. So, on customer ID going down to six, this is a column or a field. Customer name going down. This is a field or a column. And so on and so forth. Now, if a column is a vertical entity, what about a row? A row is sometimes called a record. It's the opposite of the column. So, a row is a horizontal entity. A row is a horizontal entity. So, from 1 going all the way to German is a record or a row. Same with 2 going to Mexico. 3 going to Mexico. 4 all the way to UK. 5 all the way to Sweden. And 6 all the way to Germany. These are all rows or records. So, in 
this table we have six rows or six records. So a field is a column in a table that is designed to maintain specific information about every record in the table. A record is each individual entry that exists in a table. For example, in here we have six records. Okay. So, let's talk about SQL syntax. SQL syntax consists of SQL statements. Most of the actions we are going to perform on a database are done with SQL statements or we are going to be doing SQL statements on a database. SQL statements consist of a keyword that are easy to understand. These keywords are easy to understand. For example, select is a keyword, from is a keyword. To come up with a complete SQL statement, we might say select customer ID, customer name, contact name, address, city, postal code, country, from, which is a keyword, the name of the table is a customer table. So, select customer ID, customer name, contact name, address, city, postal code, country, from, customer table. That is a complete SQL statement. Okay, so now we move on to database tables. A database most often contains one or more tables. Each table is identified by a name, like the one on the screen is customer table, and contains records with data. In this tutorial, we are going to be using a well-known Northwind sample database. I'm going to put a link we have to download it in the description and install Microsoft SQL Server and a tool called Microsoft SQL Management Studio. We are going to be using that tool to interact with Microsoft SQL Server to manipulate databases. Okay, so in the next video, we are going to be doing the installation part of the tools we are going to use. Let's meet in the next video.